This is the Aero Clock from U Gears. A very, very cool model. Thoroughly enjoyed building it. It took a while. This was actually the first model I ever built, and I probably should not have started with this very advanced model, uh, but it was still tremendously fun. I thought the instructions were really well made. I was very impressed uh, with how clear everything was. When words were needed, words were used, but otherwise it was very clearly depicted in pictures. So the way, the general way this thing works is you have uh, a bag of sand. The bag of sand pulls a wheel. The wheel turns a bunch of gears, uh, which of course keep time. You have an escapement wheel here, which makes a rotation every minute. You calibrate the pendulum to make it do that, essentially. So you, you have these weights on the pendulum that go up and down and use a stopwatch to make sure that it keeps time. It actually is uh, quite accurate. I think I have mine is making a rotation, if not exactly at 60 seconds, it's either 59 or 61. So uh, it is quite accurate. Uh, and, you know, it's been running for a while and hasn't really been any problems. Now, uh, there are a few things to keep in mind with this model. It's a lot of fun, but I will say the title of this review should be Friction is the Enemy. So I had a bit of uh, challenges with getting this thing to run and then getting it to run accurately. It was actually fun figuring those out as well because throughout the process, I learned a lot about how clocks work and about uh, why friction actually is so bad here. Uh, but for instance, uh, there is a piece right here that you may notice is not all the way pushed in because I noticed that when it was pushed all the way in, the clock would uh, would stop. So actually that something there was producing too much friction. Uh, likewise, you may notice that the uh, there's an end piece in the pendulum that I simply have removed because when that end piece is present, it pushes these uh, sides together a little bit and that creates enough friction to actually stop the pendulum. Uh, likewise, the escapement wheel, uh, I had to sand down the teeth of both uh, the pendulum as well as the wheel itself. And then I actually took a rag with some WD-40 and then I coated all the surfaces there and I found that that was uh, pretty crucial to getting it to not stop. The weight itself, I pretty much just filled it up with sand, and then I put one um, rock about this large on top, just as an, a little bit of extra weight. I found that that helped it not stop. Uh, without that, it would maybe stop once or twice an hour. With that, it just runs uh, continuously quite well. And then uh, with the uh, this basket here that's on the bottom and the balloon, I put in a little stone. Uh, I have like a decorative stone that I put in. I put in here, and there's another one. Kind of can't really see it, but basically there's another one in there. Uh, without the stone in the basket, I found that the basket would essentially just ride up the rope, so it wouldn't stay at the bottom. And then the rope actually, uh, I just use my fingernails to just smooth it and uh, oil it as well and that was necessary to get that basket to be at the bottom. It's not a big deal if it rides up the rope, it doesn't change the operation of the clock, it just doesn't look as good. And then this hot air balloon, I halfway am not sure if I did something wrong or not, but basically without this stone, no matter what I did with the counterweights there, it would not drop. Uh, I'm not sure why, but with the stone it drops uh, very nicely, very smoothly. Uh, so basically, yes, friction is the enemy. Uh, be liberal with the candle wax. So uh, sometimes the instructions will say to wax the gears. Make sure you wax both the teeth and then the face of the gears as well because uh, sometimes those faces will actually be touching other wooden surfaces. And so that helps uh, if you have the faces waxed. Uh, otherwise, 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed this model. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I will say also be very careful assembling the balloon. I, it has uh, six of these rib pieces. I cracked three of them and then I had to get replacement parts from U Gears. They were very nice. They just charged shipping. Uh, but you know, very difficult to assemble the balloon as some of the other reviews have mentioned. 
Uh, otherwise, fantastic. A lot of fun. I'll definitely be getting other things from this store.